It started with some lightheadedness, loss of balance, vision changes, and abnormal eye movements. I could be looking at somebody and my eyes are going all over the place, kind of like you're getting off a, a merry-go-round and things are moving all the time. Watch the hot air balloon. 59-year-old Gregor Heinrich of Boca Raton, Florida, knew something wasn't right, so he saw his local doctor. And he said, I think it's MS, but if it's not MS, we'll probably treat it as MS. So I wasn't satisfied with that answer. For more than six months, Gregor searched for second opinions, and still no answers. I thought maybe it was an ear crystal. I went to a physical therapist. I went to a, a heart doctor, um, probably four or five other doctors, and um, nobody could figure out what was going on. Hello. Eventually, he was referred to Dr. Sebastian Lopez, a neurologist at Mayo Clinic in Florida. When I first met Dr. Lopez, I remember him coming in the room and said, uh, well, we know what, what you have. Surprisingly, it was testicular cancer. It's probably the last thing you would ever expect to hear. When a patient comes in to see a neurologist, they don't expect to be diagnosed with malignancies. But the clinical presentation, the inflammatory findings in the spinal fluid, in addition to the biomarker, the Kelch 11 antibody, was all very helpful to help us narrow down the diagnosis. That it was malignant seminoma testicular cancer. A cancerous tumor near Gregor's spine was creating an abnormal immune response in his nervous system, known as peroneoplastic encephalitis. In these rare peroneoplastic disorders, is the immune system causing an inflammatory process that leads to neurologic dysfunction. Had it not been for these neurological issues, um, I would have never known that I had cancer. The tumor, roughly the size of an egg, was removed. Fortunately, it wasn't, it was, you know, extremely close millimeters, wasn't touching any other organs, and they were able to extract it. And he started cancer treatment immediately. But had this gone untreated for some amount of time, you know, additional, it would have easily spread and caused uh, certainly issues that could have, you know, resulted in death or uh, much worse conditions. R-H-C. Gregor is on the road to recovery. Those symptoms that provided the initial clues to his cancer still linger, but they have improved. It's a blessing in a way. It is a blessing that I've had these neurological symptoms that led me to this. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.